Yo, what's up my friends? So anamorphic equals cinematic. So almost all the videos those are shot in a DSLR are in a 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. So which look like this video that you are looking at. So the widescreen cinemascopic and anamorphic look that we see in most of the movies these days have become the standard and most commonly used aspect ratios in the market because it creates the cinematic look. So unless if you have very expensive cameras which can shoot cinemascopic and anamorphic natively or you have expensive anamorphic lenses, the only cheapest and easiest way to make any video cinematic and anamorphic is to use black bars. So today I'm going to show you the easiest and the best way to create those cinematic black bars on top and bottom of your video to make it look more interesting and give you the illusion of cinemascopic and anamorphic video. So here I have some drone footages which I have clubbed together to create a small timeline. And I want to add the cinematic black bars on top of these footages. So I am going to show you the simplest and the most easiest way to do this. And also why I prefer using this method. I hate to see people downloading the aspect ratios PNG files from the internet to put it on top of the videos to make the black bars when there is a much simpler way to do this. We start by going to the projects panel and right click new item and create an adjustment layer. Once we create the adjustment layer, drag it on top of the footages. Once you place it on top of the footages, you need to go to the effects panel and search for crop and drag this crop and put it on the adjustment layer. So I am going to talk to you about two different aspect ratios. One is 2.35 is to 1 which is also known as the anamorphic ratio and 2.39 which is known as the cinemascopic aspect ratio. So to create the anamorphic black bars we need to go to the crop and on top we need to put 12 and on bottom we need to put 12. So this is the anamorphic crop. If you want to create the cinemascopic crop then we need to put 13 on top and 13 on the bottom and this is the cinemascopic aspect ratio. The main difference between the cinemascopic and the anamorphic is that the cinemascopic is cropping a little bit more than the anamorphic and creating the wider look. That's it. This is as simple as this to create the cinematic black bars. So let me tell you why I prefer this method. The YouTubers and the filmmakers of these days are creating a lot of mixed type of contents. So they are creating vlogs where they talk to the camera, they put in b-roll sequences and then they put in drone sequences and make them look more cinematic. But they don't want to put the black bars on the footages where they're talking to the camera, right? So for example, I have this footage over here where I'm talking to the camera. So I don't want black bars on this footage. So what do we do? So if I'm using the traditional PNG files on this, I would have taken a razor file and cut this on this footage and remove it. So this will create a very abrupt and jerky transition. But when we have the adjustment layer with crop, what we can do is we can go to the first frame of this footage by clicking the up and down arrow and jumping to the first frame. And I'll go 10 frames to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And create an animation on the top and bottom. And then I'll go 10 frames to the right of the footage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here I'll make this 0. And you can see it puts a keyframe animation on both top and bottom. Similarly, we'll go to the last frame, go 10 frames to the right and put two more keyframes. Then we'll go 10 frames to the right and make this 12. So now if you play this, this looks much smoother and much cooler. So let me play this once again. So that's it my friends. I hope you like this video and learn something new. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you get a notification. Thank you. Until next time.